News this week in an unsolved rape case from 23 years ago. Convicted sex offender already behind bars is now charged with the crime. It's all because of a DNA sample taken decades ago. News Channel 36 reporter Alex Reed took our mobile newsroom to Salisbury for that story. A 32-year-old woman raped in 1986, and for two decades, the only evidence investigators had was DNA, but no name to go with it. It's 30 years of, of no closure. Until a detective working a separate homicide case had a hunch. And this person matched the description of a case he was working. So he sent DNA samples in from the homicide to the DNA lab to see if they matched the samples from the old rape case. The result was not what now, he expected. But we do have some DNA that's on file that matches your evidence that's found in your rape kit. The DNA from the rape did not match the homicide, but it did match samples of a registered sex offender. Now, some 23 years later, police had their name, Kenneth McDaniel. This case would not have been solved without uh, DNA. This is not common in Salisbury, but in a recent visit, North Carolina Attorney General Roy Cooper says it's becoming rather common across the state. And just last year alone, we got more cold hits on that DNA database solving rapes and murders than we did the first decade of the program. The victim of the rape, now in her 50s, did not want to speak to the media, but she did give a statement to detectives. I am completely glad that he's caught because this really hurt me and my children. I'm glad he's where he needs to be now. We checked and McDaniel has a long criminal history both here in North Carolina and in Virginia. He is now behind bars in Rowan County under half a million dollars bond charged with first degree rape, burglary and larceny. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alex Reed, News Channel 36.